Hello, it's me, Radia. Welcome to a new video. As you may or may not know, during the first weekend of April, I attended a really big illustration fair here in New York City called Mocha Fest. This was my second year exhibiting at Mocha. You can also check out my vlog from last year where I attended for the very first time. I will say, it was a big hit and there were so many people who attended and exhibited and also bought my work. I also had my wonderful friends Emma and Annabelle as well as my partner Julian help me during the festival. So if you guys were watching, that weekend wouldn't have been possible without your lovely assistance. I'm so glad I asked for help this year because it made things so much smoother. So many of my talented friends were also selling their work at the event. I pretty much spent the entirety of March meticulously preparing for Mocha Fest. I also did another lecture at the School of Visual Arts. It's the college that I graduated from. I had a few friends that were visiting town. I packed several wholesale orders. So there's a lot to look out for in this vlog. I also want to thank you guys for waiting so patiently whenever I upload a new video. Directly after Mocha Fest, it was tax season, which is always stressful, especially as someone who's self-employed. I also turned 25 in April. Quarter life crisis, let's go. And I just recovered from a sinus infection. So here is your video. This vlog is definitely on the chunkier end, so I really hope you enjoy it. No. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is Monday, March 6th. I'm watching one of Annabelle's videos while I just finished doing my makeup. I am about to leave in like half hour to 40 minutes because I'm doing a cheeky little guest lecture at SBA, which is the School of Visual Arts, which is also the school that I graduated from. It's the art school that I went to. My professor is out of town, so I will be stepping in to do a little guest lecture. I just spent the morning tailoring a few of the slides, but I also have a bunch of stuff that I prepared so that the class can kind of take a look at my work because there is tangible stuff that I've made post-graduation, mainly things that I have up in my shop and i also decided to have a section of like things that i have for my small business i don't know it's really fun whenever you get to like physically look and touch stuff i'm also going to bring my sketchbook so i don't know how excited the crowd is but i haven't <laughs> done a lecture since the workshop that I did at Northwestern University. I also spend a majority of my time working from home, so I'm not usually talking to people a lot, so I hope that I don't lose my skills <laughs> of presenting. Um, I'll probably do just fine. I'm just feeling a little bit of anxiety. Ooh, I do need to prepare my presentation notes because whenever I look at slides, I'm like, wait, I didn't put that slide there. Oh wait, no, I did. I just didn't prepare my notes right. So I'm gonna do that and head out very soon. I'm probably not going to record because there, there are students. I don't want to like impose anyone's privacy, but I think that's a strong way to start off my March. And also with my GIF collection that I uploaded for Women's History Month with Giphy, so. We are starting off strong, trying not to be burnt out. I shall see you later. Was asking, do you, do you think you started with perfectionism? And then he asked, do you, do you fear failure? Um, and my instinct is to be like, no, but yeah, yeah, I've got to really be honest with myself. I am fearful of failure. Done with my notes. I'm going to bring this calendar with me so I can have physical things for people to look at and he does not want me to leave but I have to leave right now my fingers are so cold my face is warm I'm nervous bye <laughs> this up once more. I just got home. The lecture went well. Sir, this is my bubble tea. Do not knock that camera, please. 
Got myself some Julian, some bubble tea, because Julian picked up some Indian food for me. Julian Kuni. Um, the lecture went well. Students were really sweet. They loved looking at the stuff. I loved bringing in the stuff. And we had a little Q&A towards the end. And it's just kind of bizarre being like, hi, I do this now. But I was in your position like three years ago. I am really hungry, so I shall be eating my alu gobi garlic naan and <laughs> my terrible tea. Any last words, Queenie? Any any thoughts? Okay, thank you. He's waiting for his puzzle. Hello, it is the next day. I feel like I haven't worn this sweater in forever, but it matches my outfit today. I am off to Art Bean. This place reached out to me hoping to do a gallery show and we've been in contact and email and i was like let me just go in person because it's in new york city just to feel the vibes and also just to like ask a few questions because they wanted the show to be in june so there's a bit of time um, i'm gonna go out now i don't want to be late but i look cute and i need to give this little guy his treat puzzle i understand shop that wanted to do a little show with me the people there were super nice um, they were super flexible with like what I wanted the show to be about probably gonna make a few original pieces and I got good vibes from it so I'm expecting to either get that done around summer or maybe even fall because I do have another potential show in New York City that will be in June. I'm trying to like schedule and plan out things as much as I can because right now my brain is focused on Mocha Fest and getting everything prepared, making things as smooth as possible, definitely smoother than the first time I was at Mocha Fest. I feel like I took note of things that I could do better and more efficiently for this year. I also wanted to share a few things that I got on my trip outside. First of all, I got donuts from Dome, vegan donuts from Dome. I better not drop them. Can you guys see it? I already ate one. I've been having an anxious week and I feel like I deserve these donuts. Don't you think, Penny? I also went to a vegetarian dim sum house. I've never been there before, but I got their vegetarian like pork buns. I'm excited to try them because I, I always pass by it, but never <laughs> go in or get anything. You want a pork bun? It's vegetarian, it's not real meat. It's not real meat. This is my lunch. I got some pen refills from Muji. I use my 0.5 blue gel pen from Muji quite, of quite often, and it's been running out of ink, and instead of buying a whole new pen, I thought, why not get the refill? But I also like kind of hate the fact that these come wrapped in single-use plastic. I'm very attached to my Muji pen. I use it for sketching and also for journaling. So I decided to get 
some refills. These are also really hard to find for some reason. I went to a different Muji, they didn't have any, and then I went to another Muji and they had two left. These were the last two left. I also went to the art store and I got some Karandash Neo Color crayons. These are some colors that I don't have and I feel like if I'm going to make some original pieces for upcoming shows, I want to have fun with these. And I also got this Holbein hot pink colored pencil in Luminous Opera. These are so buttery and smooth. I usually use Prismacolor pencils, but I'm actually astonished at how smooth this is. I want to start making finished illustrations and maybe getting back into some more traditional work and I love using this for like making little accents even when I'm sketching. Next, I got some stuff from Elizabeth Center. There's a shop in there that sells official Sanrio merch and look at how cute this little bag is. I remember when I was younger, the Queen Center Mall had an official Sanrio store, but like all of the Sanrio stores on the West Coast shut down. I don't know why Sanrio hates the West Coast, but please, I need there to be like a actual Sanrio store. As if I need any more stationery, I ended up getting a few things. First of all, this really cute melon soda notepad. And then I got these stickers. They're actually sticker flake packs. I also still hate the amount of plastic that's on literally everything. And then I got these really cute pencil caps. It's so that if you have like an open pencil, it's not going to leave marks in your pencil case or whatever, but I also got them for makeup. Eyeliner pencils get so messy and if something is touching my eye, I don't want it to like touch the inside of my makeup bag or anything. I have no other excuse other than it's super sparkly and I kept gravitating towards it. And then this, I'm hoping, will be useful. It's like a bag insert. I use tote bags often and a lot of the time I'll put things into smaller bags and then it becomes a whole chore when I want to use a different bag to like put those smaller bags into a different bag rather than have, uh, having everything loose. So maybe I can just like literally use this to store small things like hand cream, sanitizer. I just feel like this will keep my life more organized and make things a lot more convenient. And it's also just like super freaking cute because like look at the print, it's little twin stars. And then on my train ride, I was reading this book by uh, Jane Mai. And I have the first book. They're just like a series of comics and I love them so much. It really makes me want to just draw very raw comics, like no editing, just like doodling them out, uploading them and sharing them with the rest of the world, laughing at it, hoping other people laugh too, have a good time. And I'm also using this little note that Megan included in one of my orders as my bookmark for now, so. I am done with the haul. I am hungry. So I am going to eat these buns. <laughs> Let me eat. I know you want the buns so badly, huh? Okay, okay, that's that's that's. I, 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 <laughs> you saw that, right? Why'd you lick the bun, Goonie? Hey, you can smell. You can smell, but you cannot have. These are not built for Kuni. You understand? I was not sure if this came with dipping sauce, so I just made my own. These are really good. I'm so sorry you can't have any, my guy.
tickets too. <laughs> Death. Two shrimp cats. I just hope that I get like one of these little babies so I can turn mm -hmm. them into earrings. I don't remember what the options were, but I just hope it's like cute. Yeah. You know, all of them are cute. There's. <laughs> Out of all of these, the only one that has something I potentially don't want is this duck one, and that's only because there's a kiwi option. I'm uh -huh. allergic to kiwi, and simply out of spite, don't want it. Mm -hmm. There's a okay. really cute persimmon one. We got the blonde girly. Yeah. Okay, she's cute. Okay, she's, she's cute. such a cutie. She's cute. Okay, okay. So we got these two babies. Yes. These are our options. Okay. Do you want to know how to open a box? Apparently not. I got the one that was carrying it around this place. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, we have the shrimp head. Oh my god. <laughs> Babies. Oh, I got babies. babies! Oh my god! Those are such cute babies. Honestly, if I get two of them, I'm just gonna make this into the earring itself. Or yeah. like have little clips and it's like, you wanna look at it? And just unclip it and just be like, look, <laughs> look, a baby. Okay, let's see what the other one is. <gasps> okay, I got the same babies. The same babies. Gonna... <laughs> kind of wish I got these. The other babies. The, I do like the colorway of this yeah. one. A little bit better, but it's fine. I'm not mad at either of them. They're good, and I'm very bad at this. I have nails. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, there was like a little bottom. I'm hopeless. Brand that I'm looking at. Ooh, that's nice. There you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. wow. It looks like a snack. It looks like the pocky packaging. I'm ready to eat it. Okay. <gasps> it's a little too fish. <laughs> it's so cute. Or is it? Oh, it's just, it says apple duck. But I just mean this one's apple. I really hope so. Is it? <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah. It's so this cute. is the one I wanted. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. A little bad. I have an apple beret, so we can match. Okay. show you what I got today. So, look at this one. It's like a bowl. Silverfish, they're so ugly. No, gross. Mm, I can do it. Don't worry. I'm shaking them off. I just, I just hate looking at them. They're so gross. They're gone. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking. I want to go out there. Oh. Because I never have before. Is it a vibe? Huh? Is it a vibe? It's pretty nice. Careful. It's cool out there. Oh, I should have asked you to move the bird. It's okay, I have this. This was my... <laughs> this was my, um... Way to get closer! Oh, please!
Oh, it's one of these. It's a toy for him. This is the thing he can hit and spin yes. around. That whirring sound is the compost machine because I forgot to run it last night. I just picked up a big tote bag restock. My parents bring the car all the way to Brooklyn and they help me pick it up so that I don't have to have it shipped here. Julian and my dad will help me bring it up many flights of stairs because I don't have an elevator. Got myself a little juicy. I also treated Julian and my parents to some juices and smoothies because I was like, thank you for taking time out of your day to help me. I have 10 more days until Mocha. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I think I need to take some time to organize the rest of these 10 days as efficiently as possible because it's a lot of like preparation. I have to sew labels onto the new tote bags. Um, I sew a little custom woven tags on the back of each that have my name on them. I have to assemble some zines. I have to take out all of my tabling supplies, take a look at what my new setup will be. I'm going to be redoing some of the pricing signs. Sometimes people feel too shy to the point where they don't even want to ask what the prices are and that can stray them away from approaching the table or buying something. And so I want the prices to be a lot larger, legible. Things can be higher because what happened is that a lot of people were coming to my table last year during Mocha. A lot of the stuff that I was selling was on the tabletop and so many people were crowded around. I guess people just kind of moved past the crowd. I will be having more people help me. Julian, Emma, and Annabelle are helping me sell stuff and Emma and Annabelle have tabled before so they have prior knowledge of selling work at like a in-person art market. So I'm hoping that because we'll be able to take transactions faster, it will prevent like crowding from happening. I also need to make a stop at Lucky Risograph in Dumbo because they reprinted my UFO Kuni Risograph prints. I have like less than 10 in stock and I have to cut them very carefully because I print them on like a larger sheet of paper. So just a lot of preparation. I also have to be a little bit more smarter about my transportation. My battery is about to die, but I think I'm done checking in with you guys for now. I'm also done with this juice. Wish me luck. Excuse me, excuse me, I know this is you, but Julian just picked up my thick stack of Rizo prints from Lucky Risograph. Um, I do need to trim them out individually. I'm not doing that today. That will be for another day, but 
As for the plexiglass sign, this is the mock-up that I worked on. The background is going to be like a transparent iridescent cloud and the the lettering of the sparkles is going to be this like opaque acrylic. Um, so I'm hoping that works out and I'm so glad for Emma's help uh, in making this sign and I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna use like um a pink chain or something of that sort to hang <laughs> the display so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, March 29th. I have today and I have tomorrow to get everything ready for Mocha Festival. I also have a few Patreon things I need to wrap up. I also had two wholesale orders that I'm going to be sending out. I have one going to this store in Queens called Newtown HQ. Um, so that will be a new store that you can find my work at. I also have a ridiculously chunky order going off to Yuseka Stationery. I've lost count of how many times they've ordered from me. They will be getting a hefty restock of my products. I spent last night sending out invoices and also gathering all of my stock. I also realized I was running low on this sticker right here. I'm just preparing a bunch of stuff. I have to punch more enamel pins. I'm kind of getting busy work ready and out of the way. I also prepared this sign that Emma will help me laser cut. Um, it's not going to be these exact colors, but I have an absurd amount of things to get done within like less than 72 hours. It feels like I'm speed running Majora's Mask, but it's my life and Mocha Festival is like the giant moon that's going to crush me, but also like lift me away. I'm both excited and very, very stressed. I am only capable of doing things one at a time. So I've made a list of like literally every single thing that I need to do just so I'm not forgetting anything. I'm also going to have help on Friday for setup. I just want to get everything to the Metropolitan Pavilion Center, which is where we'll be exhibiting and have everything ready so that on Saturday I can just wake up, look very cute, feel energized and go and get to meet people and sell my work. Shan will be helping me on Friday. Shan, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much. I had to text all my friends being like, hi, who is available on Friday between these hours to help me bring everything down my apartment and then into the convention center. Cause I could probably do it alone, but it would be too much and I just need some extra hands. I'm also gonna see Megan on Friday and a bunch of other people that are um, tabling at the center. So I'll see you later. <laughs>
got back home, I dropped off my plexiglass with Emma. She's going to laser cut a sign for me. Thank you so much, Emma, because I don't have a sign for my table and now I finally will. I don't actually know what the final thing is gonna look like until later today. Uh, still gonna have to figure out how I'm going to like hang it up, but that's getting done. I also made a little like promotional post that I'll be at Mocha because it's Thursday. Mocha is two days away, less than 48 hours, and tomorrow is setup day. Even if I show you the iPad, you won't be able to see it that great, so I'll probably put it up on the screen. I also got some new business cards. I think they look pretty good. They were due for a revamp because this is my previous design. I kind of wanted to keep the theme of like Cootie in a Cloud going. I also included a QR code on the back because why not? These are done through Fireball Printing by the way. They did give me like a discount code. I think it's like Kuni 15 for like 15% off your first order or something. Not sponsored but I figured I would share it because they gave me one in case you're interested. Today I have to finish editing a video for Patreon. Last night I uploaded the cutest froggy pattern for my patrons. It's like this digital wallpaper. You can use it on your phone, tablet, or desktop. And there's two variations. This is another variation with a pink background. And I was thinking potentially this could be my next fabric design. So we'll see. I'm trying not to think about things too far ahead because right now I have a high priority task list.
Hello, I just got back home from MochaFest weekend, which was a huge success. So many people showed up. It was all good vibes. I also did the buns in my hair, so right now I just look like Misa Amane. <laughs> my dad helped me drive all of my belongings back to Queens from the Metropolitan Pavilion. I am so, so tired. I have spent many sleepless nights preparing literally the day before Mocha Fest weekend, but it is done for now. <laughs> it was such a pleasure getting to meet people in person. There were a lot of patrons who showed up. There were also people who came to my table last year who came again this year. I was also tabling alongside my very, very talented artist friends. Honestly, this year it wouldn't have gone so smoothly without the help of Emma, Julian, and Annabelle helping me sell products at the event. For a bit of context, last year it was me at the table taking sales and also interacting with people which was just like a lot of work to do and I felt like last year it was glued down to my table because I couldn't like leave to like use the bathroom or like go grab a snack or just like walk around look at art and this time I got to walk around buy some art go outside grab an iced coffee we all took shifts and we're just like checking in if like things were going okay people were so sweet and patient my card reader was not connecting at all within the first two hours of Saturday so that was a whole dilemma but Sunday was a bit smoother it was less packed for some reason the air conditioning was like really booty the first day but there were also a lot of people who showed up there was someone from Canada who came down for Mocha Fest to see me there was also someone who drove up from Maryland and there were people from Chicago like people from all over just for Mocha Fest weekend or even just to see me specifically and that is such an honor I do have a lot of social anxiety and I will say I'm a hermit and a homebody so Sometimes I forget the reach that I have until I do in-person events like this and I'm like, oh wow, like these are the people who support my work. The energy was so good. Although I do feel very, very exhausted, I think it's just from the sleepless nights of preparing for Mocha Festival, but the day of the events, so fun so good i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to do any other in-person events this year i did sign up for anime nyc so that's in the works as i'm recording this i also have no idea how this video is going to end up post-production so i hope i do a great job <laughs> editing this vlog but i'm going to end it here thank you so much for watching um i wouldn't be able to do any of this without my patrons people who interact or view my work and engage with my work. I'm just so happy to be in your orbit of influence and I get to share my artwork with the rest of the world and also on the internet. I hope that you're having a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!